array of having a variable in here, could you? Remember that from beginning C? Can't do it. This is supposed to be a constant if it's a static array. But this is not allocating dynamically. Places his start address of these 10 bytes into str. And <clears throat> just as we've talked about already with pointer pointers, right, variables that point to a variable that is a pointer, right, just like that discussion, we can allocate arrays of pointer types. So how big is each one of these elements in this array of 15? Right? How big is each element in that array of 15? It's char, but it's char star, isn't it? So how big is it? 32 bits each, because it's an array of pointers. It's an array of pointers. Two characters. <laughs> so this thing holds, star star is the address of an array. Each element in the array is of type pointer to a character. But it's not initialized yet. Can't initialize it. We have to do individual assignments in order for that to happen. Delete operator. Two forms. The first one there just deletes one item. So if you allocated one thing, you delete one thing. Allocate one thing, delete one thing. On the other hand, if you allocated multiple things, an array of things, then you'll delete multiple things. So if the rule of thumb here is if you allocated it with a square bracket, then delete it with a square bracket. It's a pretty easy rule to remember, keep you out of a lot of trouble. Okay? So this one simply deletes one. This one deletes however many were allocated by this address. You don't put a number in between, no. No. I mean here? Yeah. Yep. It's just automatic. Well, we know that STR points to this block of memory. The memory manager knows that starting address is a contiguous block because it allocated it. Okay. I'm going to make one request. We are in this room because I don't like that room over there and there were no other rooms available, regular lecture rooms. This room happens to have computers and as before, computers, laptops, leave them outside, turn them off, so on. There's a lot of noise level in here because of the com all the computers that are on and so I have a problem hearing. We'll just deal with that. You'll have to speak up. Second issue is, if I have to have you turn off the computers, I will. So I don't want you, I don't want to see your eyes looking at the computer. I want to see your eyes looking at notes that you're taking, or the overhead, or looking around, dreaming, daydreaming, or whatever. But I don't want you being, playing some game. I can't tell from here, but I'm more than happy to walk around and lecture from the back of the room if I need to. Okay? So, leave the computers off. As I mentioned, I'm just following along with, uh, because it's easier for me to read on my screen than this, so I'm just following the PowerPoints. So I'm this switch a slide. I well, I, and I'm, I'm not understanding that issue. You're taking pictures of the slides that are available to you. I'm getting your voice that's narrating the slides. Okay. I will, uh, that's a certainly legitimate thing to do. I will, from time to time, come around and take a look over your shoulder. I don't want any game playing going on. Is that That's clear? Okay. I don't want you to be reading your email, what your girlfriend just texted you, or whatever. That's outside the class. Yeah. 
why we're off topic, do you have any problem? In my VB, I did the same thing and I uploaded them to YouTube. Do you have a problem with that? So students, if they miss a class or something? No. Okay. No, I don't have a problem with that. Okay, so back on topic. Clear on what this does? The delete square bracket. You allocated more than one, so you delete more than one. If you allocated it with a square bracket, delete it with a square bracket. And it's always acceptable to delete a null pointer. So if you've already deleted something and the pointer, or you've never allocated it, and you deleted it, you'll have a null pointer there, which means that it's perfectly fine to attempt to delete a null pointer. There's nothing there to delete, and it won't cause you a compilation or a runtime error. Okay. You can take a look at, I think, these slides. I want to come back and start looking at this passing pointers by reference in just a minute or depending on how long it takes to go through this. You might want to make some notes here on this particular chunk of code. Two things. Remember I said that there is a tool available to you to tell you whether or not you forgot to delete something you allocated. That is, there's a tool that will detect memory leaks. It'll detect memory leaks and show you what was leaked, what is leaking. And that tool requires a couple of things in setup. One, this line right here. Question? Okay. So we need the CRT debug. What does CRT debug stand for? What do those letters mean? Control. What is it? In my era, that's what we would have thought. But you know, we're not using CRTs anymore, are we? Although they're called CRTs quite often. C runtime is what CRT stands for in this context. So we are doing C runtime environment. DBG is debug. The map allocation. In order to make use of that uh, name, we also need to have this .h file, CRT DBG .h. And then we make a call to a function, this one here, before we start doing any dynamic allocation. The underscore, what does that underscore mean? What's the significance of the underscore in front of that function name? Any ideas? We've all seen it before, I'm sure. You ever wonder why? What it's about? Any? Actually, it's a standard way of indicating that that function is an external function. We won't ever see, unless we happen to trace into it, we won't ever see that function. It's not part of what I wrote, and it's not part of any files that I have of what I wrote. These are coming from a library, and the only thing we get out of that typically is the object file, okay? So the underscore says this was brought in or is to be brought in by the linker when the 
when we are combining my files and external files. Okay, so the underscore simply means it's an external function. And it's a C runtime, set the debug flags to these two switches. Now these uppercase define names actually map to a 32-bit integer number. They map to a 32-bit integer number. Usually we think of those as 32 zeros and ones. And each position there indicates a flag to be turned on or off. Okay? That's a very standard way of, of communicating, kind of like the iOS flags that we sort of looked at a little bit, but not much, in 116. So each of these is just a integer number, 32-bit. And they're given names to be descriptive. So it says C runtime debug allocation memory definition and leak check. Okay, so that's what those two, those two flags are turned on by that call. And then we go through this code and we don't do any allocation until here. Why? Let's see if I can get it all into one. Note that in is an array of 50, string bob. So B O B no. And right here we have string length in plus one. Why the plus one? No. No. It's a no. So string length returns the actual count of characters not including the no. And plus one adds one more for that no. The address is then assigned into this other thing, which is a char star, has been initialized to zero, the dy pointer one, is initialized to zero, that value. And now we get actually give it an address here. And then this one takes the address of that's inside of dy pointer one, which is the address of this all this memory, and places it into temp. Okay? Any questions with that so far? Anybody lost, confused? No mysteries there? Okay. Then, <coughs> chars equals chars, question mark, chars, colon, quote, quote, semicolon. What? Now, chars is defined up here as being a pointer variable pointing to out, which is right here, which is something that's actually five bytes long, right? What is this? What does that line say? What's, first of all, the syntax is called what? Dway? Ternary operator. Ternary operator. How do I read it? What, do I, what does it say? Um, there's the conditional statement and then the question mark. And so if it's true, it says it goes to car one before the colon. If it's false, it goes to one after. Okay, so. Chars, is this true? Wait a minute. Huh? There's no if statement. There's That's nothing not comparing it to. So what is true and what is not true in C? So if it's a zero, it's going to be false, right? If it's not zero, something other, anything other than, it will be true. This question mark says, are you zero or not zero? If you are zero, then I'm going to go over here to the false part. If you're not zero, I'm going to go here, which is just chars. So that R value of chars is then assigned into chars. So it's kind of like a Boolean flag then? We're just deciding whether or not that string is empty. Has it been initialized or not? 
does Charles actually point to something, or is it pointing at null, at nothing? That's what we're figuring out with that question. Okay. If it is null, then we're going to set empty into Charles, right? Pointer to nothing. Okay. So. Uh, 